All right, here we go again. Uh, it was pointed out to me that uh, I, in my last demonstration, where I showed that the MOSFET conducts AC through its capacitances, I forgot to show that it conducts to the drain as well as to the source. So let's just do it again. Right now we're running. We have uh, the uh, standard uh, parameters going on. There's the scope trace there. That's the live scope trace. I'll change the function generator setting a little bit here to show that that's indeed a live scope trace. We're running battery voltage with the spikes, current, all of that. Okay. So that's a functioning MOSFET right there. IRF PG50. So now I'm going to take it out of the circuit. So I'm going to turn it off. Disconnect the function generator. Disconnect the MOSFET. Okay. So we have the gate is the white wire. Red wire is the drain. The source is the blue, dark blue wire that looks black. Okay. And then here we have the GE type 161 bulb again. And if I hook it to the function generator and turn up the output on the function generator, the bulb glows. You can see the bulb glowing, right? So now if I take the, let's see, if I take the red lead from the function generator and hook it to the MOSFET gate and then I take the black lead from the MOSFET which is the source and I hook it to the bulb you can see that the bulb glows and if I take the drain which is the red wire and hook it to the bulb you can see that the bulb glows See that? Okay. So either polarity, and if I select a uh, if I select a bipolar square wave from the function generator, so that we're really passing AC now, you can see that the bulb glows brighter. And uh, with the drain, and then with the source, it goes brighter. Right. And if I reverse the polarity so that I have the black lead of the function generator hooked to the MOSFET gate and then I take the bulb and test the source, the bulb lights test the drain, the bulb lights so in all polarities to all of the other leads the gate conducts AC and that was the point of the last demonstration not the straw man that has been erected and that's the point of this demonstration the claim has been made that the gate cannot leak any current and I've just demonstrated to you that at AC frequencies on the order that we've been using, in this case 187 kilohertz, the gate of the MOSFET, the input capacitance of the MOSFET does indeed pass current quite well in either direction either polarity just as we have demonstrated before and now let's see we'll hook this all back up gate
drain and source. And hook the power back up. And turn up the function generator drive. And now we are once again running. Drive there, and there we are once again operating so that you can see that the MOSFET is not inoperative, it's still working just as well as it did before. So you need to pay no attention to this, this is just some other experiment that I've been working on. Thank you for watching.